Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing? Hope all is well. Hope you're having a great productive day. Hope you're pushing yourself to become a better you every second, every minute, every hour of the day. Hope all is well. Here I am again, just coming to encourage you, uh, to give you some food for thought, to help you think about some things, to help you get some things in order. Help you to have the right perspective about where you're going, what you're doing, what you're thinking about doing, what you want to do. Uh, so let's get started. All right, here we go. Today I'm going to talk about what if God changed the plan? What if God changed the plan? I know you said I don't went, I don't got all these papers in order, I don't put all this stuff together, I don't set the date. I don't got the people, I don't did this, I don't did that. But what if God changed the plan? Because we have to remember, as it says in Proverbs 3, Lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So no matter what we think about we want to do in life, or going to do in life, we must always discuss it with God. We must always go back to the Creator. And ask him what he think about this. Do you think this okay? Should we do it this way? Should it be this color? Should I get with these people? Should I call these people? Should I open these doors? We must always go back and discuss it with him. Because when it seems like things are in a whirlwind or a curveball have come in. We always be like, oh man, the enemy on stepped in. The devil on done this. The devil on done that. But what if it's God that threw the curveball? What if it's God that changed the plan? And he wants you to go this way now. He wants you to get on this path. He wants you to open this door. He wants you to get involved with these people. He wants you to get on the phone and make these calls. What if it's God that threw the curveball? What if it's God that changed the plan? Because if it is God that changed the plan, then you know it's going to work out for your good. You know that it's going to be the best thing for you, especially when God is in it. When he's in it, when he's over it, and when it's about him, it's going to be the best thing for you. So just think about that. What if God changed the plan? Because you might be sitting there right now wondering, what is going on? Why ain't nothing moving? Why, why this hasn't happened yet? Why hasn't this happened yet? Why haven't this person showed up? Why haven't I got over here? Why have I done it? What if God changed the plan? But it's for to better you. That he had to step in and change the plan. That he had to give you another route to take. That he had to give you a new idea. That he had to get you to go back and rewrite the vision. Make it plain. Because he stepped in and changed the plan. God did. He stepped in on time and in time and changed the plan. Because you was about to go over the cliff. You was about to make another mistake. You was about to throw in the towel. But God stepped in. He showed up right on time and changed the plan. So you could have that expected end. That great end. That best end. So just always remember to acknowledge God. And whatever you're thinking about doing. Whatever you want to do. Wherever you want to go. Always go back and discuss it with him. Always let him lead, guide you, and direct you on what to do and how to do and when to do it. Just think about that today. What if God changed the plan? Because you know he only wants what's best for you. So let him give you what's best for you. Let him open up those best doors. Let him put you with those best connections. Let him put you in those best places. What if God changed the plan? Think about that. But stay focused. Stay encouraged. Be blessed. This is Kamitha J.